This is the PRS SE single cut, uh, and it's the Carina model, as you can probably tell from the colour if you've uh, ever seen a Carina guitar before. Um, the going from the top, the uh, sealed tuners of PRS and branded uh, work perfectly uh, nicely through the guitar into tune and keep it there. Uh, the neck coming down is Carina fixed neck. It's made from Carina, the same uh, wood as the body. It's uh, quite a lightweight tone wood, which makes it attractive for guitars uh, because then you're not carrying a huge lump of mahogany around, but you still have a decent tone response. Uh, and also, of course, the colouring. Uh, most Carina guitars you'll see are a natural finish just simply because of the beauty of the wood itself. The uh, neck is what PRS call a wide fat carve. Now don't be put off by that. Um, they, ob they obviously haven't made it wide and fat enough to make it unplayable. But it is a nice chunky feel. Now if you're used to really skinny necks, you're going to have to uh, play this for a little while to get used to it. But once you're there, it is really quite a nice comfortable feel. The Rosewood uh, fretboard has got dot fret markers. They are unusual in as much as they are made of two uh, perloid materials. One is normal perloid, the white perloid, which is cut into a crescent moon shape. The rest of the dot is made up of grey perloid, so it looks like a moon in a, in a night sky. It's very attractive. It's one of the, one of the fret inlays that PRS are, are famous for. Moving on to the body, Carina, as I said before, the very, very slight carve around the edges, which adds a little uh, touch of luxury to the look. Um, there's some comfort contouring on the back, very slight at the top there, and there's a scoop back contouring on the on the single cut. The pickups are PRS own design and build, I believe, and they're uh, simply labelled as treble in the bridge position and bass in the neck position. Um, I never come across those names before, although obviously bridge pickups are designed to accentuate travel and neck pickups are designed to accentuate bass, so it makes sense in the end. The controls are single master volume, single tone, simplicity itself, three way pickup selector. Bridge is a wrap around, strings go through the front of the bridge, come over, wrap around, and are. Uh, up to the uh, tuners and the, the saddle is actually a part of the bridge assembly so it's not very easy to adjust intonation but action is quite easy to adjust using these two bolts okay I think that's the, the physical attributes of the guitar let's have a little listen to the pickups um, I'll put it on a clean channel to begin with and the bridge pickup <laughs> There's a brashness there which uh, nice glassy highs, uh, a little bit of brashness. When you when you actually pump that up into a little bit of overdrive, it is it can get quite punky. Take it to the the neck humbucker, the bass humbucker. <laughs> there is a lot mellower. Um, sticking them together, they complement each other really nicely. I do like on uh, the PRS guitars I've tried with this combination of pickups, I do like the combination better out of the three. So let's take it to a little bit more of a, an overdriven situation. This is a bridge humbug. <laughs>
very classy little guitar, simple, attractive. It's got those clean voices, which are great. It's got the overdriven punk and classic rock voice. Uh, so basically, it's going to take you anywhere you want to drive it. Uh, it's a mid-range, between four or five hundred pounds, I think. That don't quote me on that, but it's in that region. Uh, and it's PRS, which means it's going to be your guitar for life. <laughs> 